Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's play Warmer for Decay Sanctus Reach Horrors of the Warp in the next Chaos Demon turn. And this turn is going to be going to do going to be pretty hard. I the blood letters are not going to get into close combat. I am pretty damn certain about that. The blood crushers there on the right side from our point of view right now may they may come into close combat and that could be that could cost us dearly but no they don't good so how do we do that here big guy moves on and those units are focus firing on these nasty guys one down fair enough And two down. That is what I needed. That is what I wanted. That was a good turn there for us. So quitting like crazy 400 damage of course is in one turn is absolutely crazy and very good for us. So let's go on with the damage dealing. It's doing good. The, the blood crushers always make my eyes a little bit red because I know they they are utterly fast and once these guys are in close combat oh man they hit hard they hit heavy the thing is because they do not only have a ton load of HP they are being very heavily armored as well which there in that part makes them very very hard to deal with and I shot the wrong unit I wanted to shoot those guys but I clicked wrong just to say it like that. 600 damage. 600 damage that weapon did. Oh my god. And I wanted first of all to complain. No. No need to. So then moving up with the other forces we have. Okay, can't move there anymore. But I can freely shoot and that I will do. Nicely, 160 only, but the second rounds there were very, very tense. I moved the one guy to there. I know it's not good to be in front of flash kits, but I may have been a little bit greedy here, but that I think was worth it right now. Even though, even if they throw all them units right now, which they will do, the AI, they can't go through the firing power which is coming against them that is what i'm hoping whether that of course is that's whether that is going to be that way i can't tell you by now but anyhow all right moved up which guys did i miss here we have some bonus firing putting that up ahead well, not bad. 106. That was unexpected. Lucky and unexpected. <laughs> okay, okay, I missed those guys, but they can shoot. So, there I was afraid that these bloodletters here get into close combat, but I don't think so because of the moral. Ending our turn, and let's see what the orc guys are going to do. They are, of course running into reaction fire nice so to say the least it's it's turning out quite good only a couple of squads there remain which i don't see to do the largest four squads against that firing power nay but in this game i'm always a little bit afraid because I can only um, say that you never know what kind of units, enemy units of course, not your own, are going to show up that you can never be sure of. So that's the hard part here. Nice, 240. I know it was a crit, but it feels like a small little victory. Um, doing a little bit here. Okay, I'm shooting through cover there, that was the problem there, but anyhow. Did you see that? Amazing. 
Gotta love this gun, man. Well, we have another shot. Taking it. Alright, that missed, but I'm not going. I'm definitely not going to complain here. Not after that round. We just obliterated the enemy there. Nice. I know that's overkill, but I don't have anything else to shoot, so... Alright, the other units move a little bit ahead and now I am a little bit surprised. I am not sure what we have to do here. It might seem that we walked into the wrong direction. And that is weird. I don't remember what the mission briefing said there and where we have to extract mud rock. So that's the hard part here. Maybe if I take one unit here on the teleporter, maybe we have some action available there. Let us end our turn quickly to the enemy turn. Come on, there shouldn't be too, too many units. Can I do a action move here or something? Maybe from here? So can you do anything? No. I am confused in what to do. Call me stupid. I have absolutely no clue. So I am going to look that up. For that I'm going to end this episode right now. I know this has been um, shortly beneath 10 minutes. Sorry for that guys. But the next one is going to be a little bit longer. For now I really thank you for watching. Sorry again that was, this episode was too short. I hope we can conclude this episode in this mission in the next episode. For now, I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, please guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and well, I will hopefully still see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye. And guys, back we are. I didn't end the episode right here. I feel a little bit stupid. I didn't realize that this is Mogrog and he must survive. And I guess he just has to go to the teleporter to end this mission. So what we did here with clearing out all them demons, I guess, was for nothing. It was for nothing, so sorry for that. But that means we have clear out, cleared out the first mission here and we are going to end now, finally this episode. Sorry for my little mistake there. I really feel stupid. But for now, if you still have enjoyed this episode, guys, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next skirmish. I don't know which one we are going to play first. That we will find out in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.